This is tutorial 2B, question 3. And in, in this question, we have a tank that is inside um, seawater, um, totally submerged, but there's a pipe that comes out the top of it and extends above to the surface. And we're asked to calculate the length of the pipe as shown in figure 1, so that the crude oil will just reach the top rim of the pipe without overflowing when the inlet valve at the base is opened. So there's an inlet valve at the base of the tank. The tank is 10 meters vertical height. And we're given seawater density, 1025 kilograms per cubic meter. Crude oil inside the tank, that density is 820 kilograms per cubic meter. So the inlet pressure at the valve is equal to the sea water pressure at 500 meters of depth. And you can see on the left hand side bottom of the tank we have the inlet valve <clears throat> so pressure at the inlet is therefore equal to the density of the seawater times g times h that's 1025 times 9,81 times 500 meters and the inlet pressure at the tank is therefore 5027 comma 625 kilopascals and now the pressure at the bottom of the oil tank equals pressure of the oil tank is equal to rho of oil gh plus 10 meters all right the tank is 10 meters high so pressure in the oil is equal to 820 times 9,81 times h plus 10. So, we can then calculate our h because we know what the pressure in the oil is. So that oil pressure is 5027,625 times 10 to the 3 and we divide that by the 820 9.81 minus 10 that gives us a height of 615 meters